Well, this is Gene Bohensky at Real to Real Warehouse, and this video is going to be about a topic that a lot of people have thought about and talked about, and this is cleaning your tape heads and your tape path. The first thing that I want to make people aware of is that the original audio tapes that were produced had a very unlubricated surface, and as you played them, uh, it was common for some of the oxide to come off that tape and you know, collect on the tape guides and the tape heads in your machine. From the very beginning, cleaning your heads was one of the most important things to do. At least every five or 10 hours of use, people went with their uh, alcohol and cotton swabs and cleaned their heads and cleaned their tape paths. Over time, as tape technology progressed, uh, tapes became less prone to oxide coming off so that you needed to do that cleaning less and less over time. And, you know, in some of the later uh, tapes that were used in cassettes and video cassettes, it was actually very, very uncommon that people clean their heads, even though you still needed to. Like uh, for an old video recorder, you can go for hundreds of hours without actually needing to clean your heads. And that's because the tape technology progressed to such a degree that a lot of those uh, oxide particles were adhe adhered to the tape better and didn't flake off. But when you're going back and using these older machines and using the older tapes, you might use them and wonder, is there a problem with the tape? Is there something wrong with the machine? And the answer is no. This is the way they were when they were new. This is the way the tapes were when they were new. And you just have to make sure that every five or 10 hours uh, that you clean the machine, you clean it thoroughly, all of the tape guides, all the tape path, uh, all the areas where the tape comes into contact with items in the, in, in the machine, they all need to be cleaned regularly to remove that oxide. If you don't remove the oxide, what ends up happening is you hear it in the sound as you have a high frequency roll off. You hear less and less high frequencies. It's even worth, worse if you're making a recording because if you clean the heads, you're not gonna get those high frequencies back. Um, you, you, you will if it's, they're on the original recording. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning the heads to get the best sound out of your machine and that you're also making the best recordings.